Do you have any experience gathering food and traditional medicines from the Paddle Prairie Métis Settlement Territory? How do you go about this? And what Good. are and what are some of the most important medicines in Paddle Prairie Wilderness that are used? And what are they used for? Uh, we, uh, muskeg tea, I'll, I'll list them all. Muskeg tea, peppermint tea, sage, yarrow, rat root. Uh, they call it little root, it's abstagiosis. This little root is the, is the English name they use for it. And uh, then there's another one that they call it the big root. What are they used for? Could you just say a little bit after you? Yeah, say okay. The, okay, the first four or five you have there. Yeah. Uh, up the rat root. All those are mixed together for cold and flu. And the little root, that's for heart. And the big root is for heart. Same with the big yeah, root? Yeah, both of them. But there, one is for like, the big root is for like heart attacks and stuff like that that people had. That helped heal the heart. There's a whole bunch. There's dandelion. There's uh, dandelion roots good for uh, blood and heart. Yeah. I don't know what some of them are called. Big, long, skinny roots. My mom used to use when the girls had uh, menstrual problems. Yellow flowers. I don't know what they were called. I just know what they look like and what to do with them, but. As for names, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. Like there's uh, poplar. You go poplar that high, you cut it four inches from the ground, you use the next four inches. If you split it from the top down, that was to, uh, and then boil it. And that was for uh, when you had to run. But if you took that same piece and you cut it the other way from the bottom up, that was for problem when people had problems throwing up all the time. 